Hey everybody. So here we're looking at the left table in the computer room. So the right table is the one that the Q Computer Plexi is set up on. So again, we're looking at the left table. You notice anything different? Let me pan back just a little bit. Yeah, guys. I've definitely been making some changes to this table over here. I decided to build this platform or shelf. Give me more horizontal space to store junk. And also provide a means of putting my lights a little closer to the work area. But also, you can see right there we have a camera mount. Probably one of the most critical things about some of my videos when working on stuff like laptops or whatever is it's like I'm I'm no I've I always struggled to get, get the right camera angle. And I always knew that getting a camera directly above the workspace would be the most optimal for many cases. Um, let's just say there have been many times to where I would be working on a laptop or something, and I'd have to have the tripod. If it's a big tripod, I'd have to have it shoved off to the side and angled to where the camera would, would face down, and oftentimes the tripod would be in the way of what I'm working on. Or, more commonly, if I use this tripod right here, oftentimes, again, it's in the way, or I can't see the camera screen, so the video is not pointed at the right spot or what have you. Um, I decided to go this route to provide a means of mounting a camera directly above the work subject. That way I can get, I say more, um, get better quality videos in some cases depending on what I'm working on. So I constructed this solely out of scrap lumber. The sheet of plywood is actually what well, used to support my old bed. <laughs> yes, not the bed itself, but the mattress. The old box screens were just worn out, and there was this piece of a uh, piece of wood. And of course, I cut it in half, and the second half of it is right there. That used to be. They used to support um, the mattress on my bed. But once I moved into a new home, I was able to get a new set of, uh, of course, a new mattress and box springs. So I no longer need that piece of wood. Junk the mattresses and I decided, you know what, we'll go ahead and use this for something else. The 2x4s and the 2x3s, that was all scrap wood that came with the new back doors on the new home. Um, I replaced three back doors on this home last fall and the new sliding glass doors, they had these two by threes screwed into place behind the uh, nailing fins. So I had, of course, a small pile of two by three lumber to use for something else. Um, I wasn't gonna just burn it or trash it. I was like, you know, we may as well put it to use for something. So lo and behold, we have this contraption right here. So, there you have it guys, we have a new shelf that spans across this work area. And rest assured I've already whacked my head a few times on that on that piece of wood right there. I'm gonna probably end up going and getting some pipe insulation and padding that because like I say, it's already been a few times I whacked my head on that. <laughs> so there's pros and cons to everything. So you can see I got this, the, the second half of that wood um, on the back there. I decided to stick that right there. I'm going to decorate that with some of the old um, banners I had in the old tech room that was in the uh, previous home. And also, um, might do a few other things with it too. So yeah. Pretty neat. I must say. Um, 
one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the TV box back up here. Uh, TV box slam. You may remember in the old computer room I used to have the TV box slam up in the uh, corner. That way I could watch YouTube stuff when I was working in the uh, computer room. At first, in this new room, it's like, okay, where was I going to put it? Because I had this old dresser here full of stuff. Got the, uh, the back door right there. Had a shelving unit there. Had tables through here. And I was like, where was I going to put the TV computer? Well, we finally have a spot to put it. Right about there. <laughs> I'll tell you what's funny, guys. For those who are into electrical stuff, or perhaps you're a lineman, yes, that is an electric meter. And I'll put a card right up here explaining the back story on how I ended up with that. Kind of a funny story found on the side of the road. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyways... I want to share this update with y'all. Um, I got this thing built rough in, in roughly an evening. Um, I was busy yesterday, but late yesterday evening, I decided to go and throw this thing together. Kind of a hack job, but hey, I think it's gonna be it's gonna definitely add some function to this table here. So, anyways, hope y'all look forward to. Some better quality videos in the future. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to QQ channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following QQ Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.